It's time for Rag Rye, people. Hello there, my friends. How are you doing? So, I'm in a random parking lot, not in Sweden. As many of you know, I'm supposed to be in Sweden, but then the pilots decided to go on strike and then I couldn't go to Sweden. I was stuck in Colorado wondering what to do with my life. And then I thought, Iowa. So that's where I am today. And you know what happens in Iowa? Rag Bride! Whoa, whoa, who are you? I don't know. Oh my God. I'm not alone this time. I am with my wonderful girlfriend, Amelia Boone. Hi. I've talked about her in some of my previous videos, alluded to the fact that I had a, girl, had a girlfriend, and a lot of you were probably like, yeah, right, Ryan, we don't believe you. <laughs> but it's true, she's here, Amelia Boone. Live in person. The most amazing woman in the world. Oof, that's, that's a big thing to live up to. Yeah, but I met her essentially at Leadville last year. She paced me in the Leadville 100. We fell madly in love. Amelia is a world champion obstacle course racer. She's as tough as they get, but have you ever ridden your bike further than 50 miles? No. Have you ever ridden your bike uh, multiple days in a row? No, unless <laughs> have, I'm sleeping in my bed at night. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever done anything like this? Absolutely not. How do you feel about that? I'm excited. <laughs> You're excited. Um, I am so on a serious level, we're gonna tone it down a second. I am really excited that you're here. I appreciate you wanting to come out and doing something so out of the box and crazy. I know this is um, a different type of event for you, but we're gonna have the time of our lives. It's gonna be a blast. Because Iowa is a beautiful state and Ragbri is the most amazing bike event in the world. Woo! And we get to share it together. Yes. Yeah. And uh, what bike are you riding? I am riding the 600X. Show I me. Already... Uh, uh, okay, here it is. Oh yeah, she's on the Priority 600X today, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And you'll notice she's got her bags here. I got my bags here. We're carrying all our own stuff. You know it. What's that called? Bagging. Bagger? We're, we're baggers. baggers. We're baggers. We're baggers. Yes, definitely. Baggers. I'm over here on my Priority 600. This bike has been to Ragbri before and um, I think we're late. We gotta go. Yeah, where is everybody? We gotta everybody? go. Where is everybody? I don't know. Hello! <laughs> hey everyone, if you enjoy my videos and they bring value to your life, please consider supporting my channel on Patreon. And not only will you be supporting my channel, but you'll get early release videos with no ads. How cool is that? And from time to time, I'll throw in some other goodies as well. I will put a link down in the description if you're interested in this. But if not, no problem. My videos will always be free for everyone to watch on YouTube. Okay, back okay. to Iowa. Here we go. We're doing it. Let's hold hands. <laughs> Here we go. No, no crash. No crashies. No flatties. No crashies. No whammies. Let's have the best week ever. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Oh, it feels so good to be back at Ragbri. I haven't been here since 2019. Woo, look at that hot mom on the bike. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go. Thank you, good morning. Thank you. Good morning. No whammies, no whammies. Hello, everybody. Good morning, good morning. I promise I don't scream the whole time. <laughs> I promise. Just the beginning. It's gonna be a long seven days, huh? <laughs> Thank you for a wonderful stay. Good morning, everybody. You. So you're not carrying camping gear. What are you carrying? Beer and ice, Gatorade. I love it. I love it, the essentials. Good morning, yeah! Woohoo! Yes! I love Iowa!
I realize that not all of you know what Ragbri is. So, this is the 49th Ragbri. Next year will be 50. What? It's seven days. It's about 450 miles. The route changes every year. There's about 20,000 plus cyclists. Everybody is out here to have fun. It's not a race. And I always tell people, you see the best of America out here. These small towns are super charming. There's wonderful people everywhere. And there's really good food and pie. It's very famous for pie and ice cream and home, homemade goods. And it's just a really good time. I did it for the first time in my life in 2012. And I've been hooked ever since. It's just good vibes all the way for seven straight days. And you know, makes you feel good about humanity. We're at the first stop here, Rag Rai 2022, and Amelia sees the bracelet maker, Mike. He's the man. Mike, how long have you been doing the spoke bracelets? I'm not exactly sure, but I did talk to somebody last year who said I made her bracelet 12 years ago, and she still had it. So. <laughs> and what inspired you to do this? Um, I worked at a bike shop in Houston, and we were kind of fiddling around with this stuff, and. I, uh, when I moved away, I mailed a couple of them to the guys that worked at the shop, and they seemed to like them, so I kept fiddling around with them. How long does it usually take to make a bracelet? About two and a half minutes. There it's we go. That's just right, I can always do it. Add into one. it. Oh, it looks perfect, yeah. That's oh, right sweet. on. Thank you. Cool. Are you excited to get your spoke bracelet? I'm super excited. I've seen yours forever. Look at that, Yay. Amelia! That's a rag bra induced smile. <laughs> totally, can't stop smiling. So if you want a spoke bracelet, what's your address? Uh, Bentspokes.com. All right. You can get Sweet. a hold of me. Thank you so much, my man. Sure. Appreciate Thank it. You. Bike traffic jam, my favorite kind of jams. Yeah, let's see. So this bike looks really interesting. Those are some cool looking bags. What are you doing? So we are riding 48 states over four years for addiction recovery awareness. Each day we pedal for someone who's passed away from addiction and the whole end goal is to build a rehab. This is state number 40, Iowa, Rag Bride 2022. And what have you found out there in America? Oh man, so much love. Good. There's so much love. I Absolutely. Love I see a lot of people with broken hearts because of what addiction's done, but I've seen, I've heard so many victory stories too. It's been incredible. What's up my friend? Hey. What's your name? Liam. Liam. You feeling good? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How long you been riding your bike? 20 something days now. 20 something days, how many miles? Almost a thousand. A thousand miles, that's amazing. I'm proud of you, buddy. First hill of Ragbri. Woo! How you feeling? Nice. You're just cruising. Oh, yeah. Right on. So Rag Rai is all about making friends, and I just made a new friend. How you doing? Great. What's Beautiful your story? Day. What have you been doing? We've been riding the west coast of Michigan, and then we drove over here for Rag Rai. <laughs> what really inspired to you here. to do such a silly thing? Oh, I like to live by the ethos of why not? <laughs> why not? Why do I? Why should I wait for something I could slip and fall in the bathtub tomorrow? You know? Yeah, exactly. May as well just do it while you can. Exactly. Yeah. What do you love most about riding bikes? It connects you to people. All the time you get to meet all kinds of great people, you get to have good conversation, and it gives you a sense of freedom. We're on some Iowa roller coasters right now, going up and down and up and down. Woo! Thank you, Air Force. Thank you. So the Air Force guys, ride around and fix people's bikes. It's pretty cool. So Amelia saw cows and just jumped off her bike. Here we go, baby cows. Oh, hey buddies. Hi guys. You guys know what a bucket calf is? No, can you tell me? A bucket calf is a calf whose mom didn't want it or his mom couldn't take care of it. In this case, they both got rejected by their moms. Yeah. Oh, Look how cute they are. I know. Hi. 
So this is your first time, what do you think? First time and here because of you, yeah, it's amazing. It's, it, people are great, it's just the scenery is beautiful, it's phenomenal. And you came from far away? Nova Scotia, Canada, yeah. Because but not that kind of virgin. No, <laughs> yeah. Rag Rye Virgin. Rag Rye Virgin! Do you feel better now? Uh, I feel like I'm part of a club. <laughs> part of the cool kids club. Yeah, how you doing? Yeah, I'm good. This hey, year I got the whole family and Leon's on his own bike. How old is Leon now? So he just turned 11 and he's gonna ride the whole way carrying his own gear. And what's the idea behind the Bicycle Happiness? So it's a small business run by a woman and I help people bike as a lifestyle, as a way of life, rather than just a sport or just something to do on Rag Ray. Yeah. Uh, don't use your car. You will be surprised how much you don't need that thing. So that's all what I'm all about. So I just ran into Irene who I met many years ago on Rag Ride with her little son right here, who's not so little anymore, and he would jump off the tandem and run alongside and then get back on the bike while they were moving. And push the tandem because we we're carrying all our gear, which is really hard to carry, right a tandem with the child and the gear. So Amelia Boone, yes. uh, you're 14 miles into Rag Ride. How you feeling? What are you noticing about this amazing event? I'm feeling great. You know, I this is totally different than like bike events that I have thought of or seen. Um, I only got my first bike about two and a half years ago and biking culture kind of scared me like cycling culture was a little bit scary to me and in what way I mean everybody seemed kitted out everybody had these really expensive bikes everybody seemed like they were doing it just didn't feel friendly and welcoming Rag Rai is like totally the opposite of that it's kind of feels like that every person's ride is people are on any types of bikes like do going at their own pace and just like having a good time you know it's no there's no pretension there's nothing about it that makes you feel like you're out of place you could be riding a tricycle out here and everybody be just as welcoming so i love it so when you stop at rag Rye, you never don't know how long it's going to take you think oh i'm just going to get a banana or something and you end up spending two hours talking to people and that's what happens to us now we're getting back on it Ride her on, ride her on. That's your mom? Yeah. That's your mom? He rode across the country last year. I jumped on and rode 900 miles with him. And now we're doing rag rides. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Oh my God, that's so cool. What do people have to do to win one of these shots? They have to show a unique talent or a special gift that's crowd pleasing. Do we have anybody with a special talent? I want to see this. I don't drink alcohol. Amelia? God, if I had talent? a jump rope, I could help you. So Brian had my girlfriend Ashley take her shoe off. <laughs> we poured the fireball shot off of her feet into his mouth. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, in the shoe, did you do a shoey? No, no. off no. of her toes. Oh. 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 Amelia, you're next. Ooh. No. Oh, do it, I do still want to see my Amelia, feet. My feet are yeah. so gross. Let's oh, you have great feet. Let's do it off her toe. Do it. Take a shot off her toe. Her toes okay. are amazing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Get ready to see some gnarly Hold toes, on. buddy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look at these toes. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the shot goes from you through the toes into his mouth. Yes. Wait. Oh, there we go. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. right into his mouth, <laughs> off the nasty Amelia Boone feet. Yeah. Wait, can I lick my own foot now? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's even better. She's licking her own foot. Oh yeah, that'll do the trick. Wash the fireball off. Oh God, your audience is gonna hate the fact they have to see my toes. <laughs> Sorry. Do you still love Rag Rai? I still, I love Rag Rai even more now. So I just found two of my favoriteest people in the world. They are riding their bikes across the United States of America. You may have heard of them. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for BBB! How are y'all yes. doing? doing? We great. are, oh my God, we couldn't be better. I mean, couldn't be better. So be you've better. been doing what for the past month or so? Uh, this is day 44. Uh, the Apollo mission. Uh, we call it the Apollo mission because we're riding our awesome Priority, Priority Apollo bikes. Ooh, yeah. And, uh, From coast to coast. Yeah. And what have you learned about the United States riding across the country? Uh, it's not flat. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, and the people are great everywhere we go. If you watch the news, which we try not to do, you, you know, you might think the country's divided and it is, and there's all of this stuff that goes on. But when you're on your bike and you're meeting people at little towns across America 
it, it basically uh, it rebuilds your faith that America is going to be okay because the people of America are the best. We, we have had so much, many, many examples of trail angels and trail magic and it's, uh, it's heartwarming. I met these wonderful people in 2019 at Ragbri yep. and their energy is off the hook. Woo! So go watch their videos and uh, just get an injection of love and all the best of humanity, right? That's absolutely right. That's so I love the power of YouTube. I don't just make goofy videos to make myself feel good. The goal is to really, to meet people and connect with people all over the world. And I just found one of my followers. I've been in contact with him for a long time and we chat a lot on Instagram. Rene Acevedo, what's up my friend? Hello, hello, how's it going? How you doing? Good, good, and you? Good, so what's your story? What inspired you to get out here? Oh, the first thing inspired me is you. <laughs> get out there. Get out there. I'm talking to you. Get out that couch. And I'm riding. So I was feeling depressed. And I was. You guys are the first one. I was trying to end it. End my life. And they get out there. Get out there. I'm out here now. Yeah. Well, I'm you proud guys. of you. I'm proud of you, man. Thank you. Thank you. I'm proud of you. I'm out here. You got out here, brother. I'm out here riding as much as I can. Just thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you got it, man. Thank you for watching my channel so much. Thanks. It means the world to me. And I love connecting with people like you. And I'm proud of you, man. Thanks. I'm proud of you. Yeah, Air Force. Woo. Yeah, Renee. Hey. How you doing, buddy? Good, good. Good, good. Whippa! Whippa! All right, here we are in Anthem, the uh, halfway town, and there's a lot of people here. Big and shit, bingo, we're here over at the white tent. I tell you what, one dollar bill for one, two dollar bill for three, now four dollar bill for four, five dollar bills all it takes, five dollar bills to play chicken shit bingo here in Anthony, Iowa. Can you tell me how this all came about? Like, did you think of this great idea? I did it. My buddy back there, Kurt Paulson, he thought of the idea to raise some money for the Anthony, Iowa, for the community fundraiser, for the kids here in town, raise some money for the kids, and uh, help out the community. <laughs> awesome. Has it been going well? Oh yeah, we started about eight, eight thirty, nine o'clock, and we've been rolling ever since. So it's been a uh, been a full exciting day, lots to see and lots to do. So. And how does it work? How do you win? Um, you go up there and pick out your number. There's 20 numbers to pick from. Give the kids five dollars, and you get to pick out your number. Then we'll throw a chicken under underneath the board. Whatever whatever spot the chicken poops on, that's your number. You win 50 bucks. What number are you? Three. He's on it. Poop here. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Poop at number three. You can do it. What number are we going for over here? I couldn't poop if there were a bunch of people standing around me, so I don't know why we expect a chicken to be able to poop on demand. Come on now, back that ass up. Back you are it up. pooping right on three. number eleven. Not you pooped on eleven. Pooped on eleven, which is my lucky number, but it was already taken. Oh. So he pooped on number eleven. <laughs> hey guys! What'd you find, Amelia? I found alpacas. Oh. Hi guys! Give it a kiss. Oh. oh, you just kissed an ass! I kissed an ass! <laughs> Good job! I said, yeah, what's up? <laughs> You might not think that Iowa is hilly, but it is indeed hilly, at least today. We've gone up and down, up and down, up and down. <laughs> but I love it because I'm from Colorado. <laughs> so my name is Omkar. I'm originally from India. I've been living in New York City for past six, six years. And we are here out biking at Ragbri. <laughs> yeah. And uh, how long have you been cycling? I've been cycling for just over a year now. 
and I started cycling after watching Ryan's videos <laughs> and he's my inspiration to come here and start riding. Oh, that's so cool. So and if something happens to me here at Ragbri, Ryan is to blame. It's my fault. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So are you having fun? What do you think so far? So far it's been pretty good. All the people here are very friendly. Uh, everyone is very helpful. People are nice. Everyone is having fun. Yeah, good. That's what Ragbri is about, right? That's right, my friend. Yeah. All right, so we'll have a great week. High five. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. We have found the Priority 600X. Oh my God. Absolutely. How's it going, buddy? Good, coming from Washington. I'm going to Maine on my 600X. Yeah, and uh, how'd this all happen? Well, uh, we uh, had some Risa Mueller e-bikes, and uh, after three days of, uh, of, of some uh, hellish uh, stories and ending up in a post office <laughs> in the middle of nowhere in Washington, uh, we sent them back and uh, we called Priority, watched your video, seen that you had this, uh, took your advice, called Priority and within three days they had uh, sent us a two brand new Priorities um, overnight them to us so we can t continue our journey across the United States. They knew that we were going across the United States and they did everything that they could to get us the bikes and we appreciate the people at uh, Priority Bicycles for sure. Right they are on. awesome, man. And what's, uh, why are you riding across the country? Well, uh, about a couple of months ago, uh, well, about four months ago, uh, we stopped watching television. In the last eight years, we've had a couple of different political parties, and if you're listening to the talking heads, you think everybody kind of hates one another, um, and they're, we're all divided. Um, I told my wife um, at 55, I said, listen, I'm shutting everything down. I'm going to get on my bicycle, and I'm going to go across the country. I'm going to meet people just one by one. My faith in humanity, my faith in the love of people has been so shaken to the core and has been changed in such a miraculous way that um, that I can't even explain it there's been I'm making some videos myself and one of the videos I literally had to say to myself and say on my video have you ever been loved on so hard that it hurts because when you come across this country and you meet people one by one you meet people in such a such a profound and helpful and a gentle and a kind and a respectful way that it will change your heart and change your life and it has mine. She's at grandma cruising? Yeah. Grandma's cruising. cruising. She's cruising. Hi Amelia. Hi. How you doing? I'm good. Good. Lots of hills today, lots of hills. I love it, buddy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're rolling into Ida Grove. We're done for the day. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. And how far have we gone, Amelia? Uh, 54 miles. 54 miles. Is that a new world record for you? It's the longest my butt has ever been on a bike, yeah. Yay! Woo! Congratulations! Yeah. We did it, day one! Woo! And ever since my first rag ride, my mission every time I roll into the overnight town is to find the town pool and cool off. And of course, they have showers and they you know, usually camp near the pool. Here we go! Good job. And here we are, steps away from the pool, just in case we want to swim again. Yeah. And this is my new dragonfly, the Nemo dragonfly. I love this tent. Amelia is very excited to cuddle tonight. I know. They call this a two person tent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, it's made for cuddling. I know. You know what I really love about this tent? There's a door on this side and then there's a door on the other side so we don't have to climb over each other if we to need to go to go pee in the middle of the night. That's right. And Ragbri is kind of a free-for-all where you find green grass and you can usually put up a tent. I've never had any problems in the five years that I've done Ragbri. There's a lot of charters that have like their specific area so you can't camp there obviously like right over here. That's a charter area but we found this nice 
patch of grass next to I think it's a church. You did an amazing job at packing lightly, but, <laughs> but what's one of the biggest items you have? So the biggest item that I have in here are these beautiful posterior night splits that luckily fit perfectly in these green guru bags. Um, but uh, this is for issues with my feet as a runner. So I have a bad Achilles on one leg and I've got a bad planter on the other. Um, and I wear these boots all the time. When I first met Ryan, he was like, wait, you're wearing what to sleep? And <laughs> now I just kick them in the middle of the night with yeah. them. All right, now I'm gonna take you on a tour of Ida Grove to show you what the tent cities look like. Pretty much all overnight towns look just like this. Tents everywhere. It's really intense. <laughs> Get it? Woo! Look at that. Hey, everybody! You're on YouTube! Look at Amelia. I have ice cream and I'm happy. Ice cream and she's happy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We are outside of the best gas station in the world. Casey's, I don't know where the sign is, but believe me, it's a Casey's, I promise you. And they have awesome treats. I got an ice cream cone, a donut, and look, some healthy juice in a glass bottle, which is great. And Amelia's gonna party tonight. I got booze. Oh yeah, girl, ice cream and booze, we're going for it. And we're not the only ones here in the parking lot. As you can see, everybody else is having a gas station fiesta. <laughs> we ride a Don, you got like a, a mouse. Is that yeah. like a, is that a piece of corn? There's definitely corn lightning going on right There's here. Corn lightning. What do you got on the butt here? Are you got corn on your butt? I love the colors, man. What's the name of your team? It's uh, Team Cold Babies. Cold Babies. What's what's the significance? Well, Cold Baby is a uh, is a bush light. Oh, okay. <laughs> so uh, this is year number ten. Uh, the way I always put it is, this is the best of Americana, right? So Iowa literally rolls out the red carpet for everybody. So it's a it's a spirit of true freedom. But everybody's so hospitable and has a fantastic time. But truly, like, because your cell phone doesn't work, yeah. because you have to rely on the goodness of strangers, because you have to, uh, you know, figure out a way from point A to point B. It's sort of a, yeah. it's it's America's last great, you know, adventure in terms of, but group adventure. Yeah. You can go on a hike in the woods and you can go for three or four days straight and not have to worry about, you know, anything or, or, or otherwise, but you're doing this as a community of 15 or 18 or 20,000 people. And so it's, it's the last big great community outing where people can go and have fun. So come and see us though, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I was ready for you. So Ida Grove has some serious castles all over the little town. There's castles everywhere and I'm gonna take you on a little tour of all the castles. <laughs> and look at that. Knights in shining armor as you ride into the town. Somebody here really loves medieval times. This one right here is my favorite of all the castles in Ida Grove and it looks like it's a skate palace, maybe a roller rink. That's pretty rad. This is without a doubt the coolest roller rink I have ever seen in my life. Dude, this is the coolest skating rink ever. Yeah. And look, here's all the skates. Look at that. Everybody come to Ida Grove and let's go skating. Even this bridge has little castly looking things. What are those called? Do you know? Turrets. Turrets. That's what I meant to say. Oh man. Yeah, we should go get our tent and move it to right there. Man, I'm a big fan of Ida Grove. Maybe we should move here. And there's another castly looking building. Not the best, but still has the castle motif. And that concludes our tour of Ida Grove's castles. <laughs> there's probably more, but we want to go to bed now. Here we are. Hi. Here we are. First night in a tent together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. We have a great spot. We the do. weather is perfect. The weather's great. It could have been so hot and humid, but it's not. Yes. Right, right, day one. That was pretty right, special. Right, day one. We met so many cool people and saw so many beautiful fields of corn mm -hmm. and actually some hills. Or some hills. We ate some fun food. Yeah. Um, saw some super cool little towns. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And it just reminds me of how much I love Iowa. I hadn't been here since Ragbri 2019, so. And I'm so, I mean, I've said this a lot, but I'm so happy to share this with you. I'm excited to be here. The magic of Ragbri. Yeah.
You excited for day two? Oh, I totally am. We're going to Pocahontas. What? How can you not be excited? That's true. We're not going to go to sleep right now because it's still light out and we can hear music blaring, but close. We're tired. Me, 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 me. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Everybody. Right, let's do it. Let's do it. It's time for a donkey show. Here we go.